Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a package of bacon, sausage, and hamburger. But I want to talk to you about this bacon. This is bacon ends and pieces. And if you don't know, you can get about three pounds of this for about two thirds the cost of normal priced bacon. And it's great for recipes like chili because it's got all these odds and ends, all these misshaped pieces that don't have to be uniform. Some of these pieces are sliced too thin, and other pieces like this are just way too thick. So I just like to cut all this up into smaller pieces, perfect for chili. Then just add it to a hot pan on the stove and start to cooking. Now I'm not going to pretend to teach you how to cook bacon in this video, but I like to just spread it out evenly so it can get some color. And this will take several minutes. So on the back burner I've got a large pot. I'm going to add some hamburger to it, followed by some pork sausage. And I like to just smash this down and open it up a bit for the seasoning. Check out this hack. That's right, original taco seasoning. But don't let that scare you away from this recipe. We're going to fine tune it up before it's all over. Besides, it's real common to season your meat while you're cooking it, and taco seasoning is a great way to do it. Just make sure you get it all mixed in there evenly, and start to brown your meat. In the meantime, we're going to need an onion, And I'm going to cut the ends off of several jalapeno peppers. And if that's too hot for your taste, you can substitute bell peppers. But I like mine spicy, so I'm going to add several garlic cloves as well. And a few chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And I'm just going to blend and pulse this a bit till they're small pieces. Technically, you could puree it if you'd like, turn it into a paste. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I like it about the consistency like this. I like small pieces in my chili. By now, our bacon's almost cooked, and I'm going to add the onion and peppers right over the top. Take advantage of that grease so we can saute these veggies. Just going to spread a thin layer here so it can cook out that water. Checking in on our beef and pork sausage mixture here. Everything's looking pretty good. Still a little pink, so we'll give it a few more minutes. And we can start to stir this in as well. Now we'll just give the pan a shake and even it out again. Now when it comes to beans, I'm using pintos. And you can use these and soak them overnight if you plan ahead. If not, this is a good alternative. I'm using these Friolas by El Mexicano. It doesn't matter what you choose to use, I'm not affiliated with these guys at all, but it is a good alternative. Now I'm just going to do a quick switcheroo on the burners here, bring our chili pot to the front. As you can see, our seasoned meat is now fully cooked, so now it's time to add our tomato sauce, followed by our diced tomatoes. And you want to just go ahead and get that stirred in together. Now add the bacon, jalapeno, and onion mix. And just get everything mixed together. Now it's time to fine tune this with more seasoning. But it's not a bad idea to go ahead and taste it and see where it's at now so you know what to add. I'm going to add cumin, coriander, chili powder, a little bit of cocoa, yes I said cocoa, and some Mexican oregano. Again, just get these ingredients mixed together. And for me it's just amazing how this comes together. The color. Just look at that, it's beautiful. But we're not done yet. 
I don't know if you noticed, but I don't really have room for my beans. Yep, I should have used a bigger pot. No big deal, I'm just going to transfer over to a larger one. More dishes for Mama. Now back on the burner, we can add our beans. Moments like these, I always have Jeopardy music playing in the back of my head. The clock is ticking down. Now stir in the beans. Again, you're going to watch the color change here. The beans really give it a different dynamic until it's fully mixed in and it gets rich once again with color. Drop this down to a simmer. And my secret ingredient is brandy. But you don't have to add it. In fact, this chili is great without it. But you know, as the old saying goes, it really kicks it up a notch. And at this point, it's up to you how long you want to spend on the stove. You can technically serve it now if you'd like. This is how mine turned out. And if you didn't notice, I didn't add any salt or pepper. That's because the bacon and sausage already have the salt. And the seasoning, the taco seasoning that is, already has that in it. I also didn't add any broth because I like my chili thick, like this. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And there you have it, homemade chili right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.